what's going on guys I just want to bring you guys another video I just picked up an iPad Air this is a Verizon cellular model I just want to shove the antenna on the back space gray 64 gigabyte I got it from Best Buy it was on sale for like 80 bucks off so I just went ahead and picked it up um but the reason I picked this iPad up I didn't want the Wi-Fi model because I want to primarily use this as um, not necessarily a laptop, but I want to have this connected to data at all times and I want unlimited data. So in order for me to do that, I have a spare, um, not a spare line. Oh, well, yeah, actually a spare line in my account, which also has unlimited data. But right now I just have a iPhone 4 connected to it. But as we all know, the iPhone 4 is not doesn't come with a SIM card so I'm trying to find a cheap iPhone 5 I sold um, the one that I had you know unfortunately so what I mean I'm trying to find one as cheap as possible but at the end of the day even if I have to pay about $200 two to three hundred bucks it will be way cheaper um, than having to pay these Verizon data plans that you know it's like for three gigabyte it's like 50 bucks you know so this is my unlimited data sim I didn't put it in yet so just so you can see I do have two sim cards here that's the one for my phone and this is the one that came with the iPad so I have the cellular data turned off right now so I'm just gonna go into settings as you can see it's off and let me go ahead and pop the sim in and let me turn Wi-Fi off. Sorry about that. Let me turn the Wi-Fi off. Yeah, I'm gonna turn the cellular data on. A LTE is enabled, and I'm just gonna show you. I'm not gonna change any settings. I'm not gonna reconfigure anything. It's gonna go through the the settings itself. And sorry about that. It's kind of okay. So as you can see, it's showing on Verizon, showing on LTE. And I'm on LTE, so I'm just walking to the bathroom. I think it's the bathroom. <laughs> but it's going to continue to show you. Hold on one second. That, you know, as you can see, I didn't change anything. I didn't have to set up any account with Verizon. This is the SIM for my phone. So what I plan on doing, I'm just going to show you that it does work. Go to Safari and go to web page. I'm recording this from my 5S, so uh, here we have World Star. Uh, I'm just going to go to another website that you can see. It's going to go to Apple. Okay, so here we are, Apple.com. As you can see, we're on LTE still. And look at iOS 7.1, which I'm not going to upgrade to because I love my jailbreak. So as you can see, it does work. I mean, as you can see at the top up here, just reading some news about the leaks. And it's very fast. I mean, I'm gonna load up a video on my YouTube client, which is MX2, the greatest YouTube client of all time. In my opinion, I'm just gonna load up this video right here. And you'll see how hey, fast. On YouTube? It's how you very fast. Here? Today in this video, I'm going to be talking about when. Uh, I don't have speed test downloaded, but I'll go ahead and download it for you guys, so you can actually see a speed test, and so you know that this is not a joke. Okay, and they have updated this for the iPad. As we all know, it's compatible with the iPad just as of a week ago. So it's downloading right now. Okay, so it's finished. It's installed. I'm going to open it up. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to begin a test. I'm not going to change the server. Anything. Usually I like to use the Comcast server. But uh, I'm on, I guess, what is it, Tower Stream? I don't know, whatever. But this is the SIM in my 
This is from my iPhone 5S. Okay. I just wanted all you guys to see this. If anyone's interested in, you know, trying to get an iP a data enabled iPad, but they just don't know which model to get. Because I've been seeing a lot of videos where it's a lot of confusion. People are like, well, should I get the AT&T model? Should I get the Verizon model? Should I get the T-Mobile and the Sprint? I'm going to tell you right now, if you get the Sprint version, you're going to have the most problems and this will not work at all. So I'm just going to tell you that off the bat. Uh, T-Mobile, I don't know for sure. Some people are saying that you have to change the APN settings, which I didn't want to do. AT&T and Verizon, I think, is the way to go. Um, me, personally, I have Verizon as a, you know, as my main cell phone account. My wife uh, has T-Mobile. So, you know, for me, this is the easiest way, the best way. I just basically have to get another smartphone and it has to be activated on that line. So, as I, you know, as I said, this line right now, I pay after taxes and my employee discount, I pay about 75 bucks a month. So, you know, if I get another line on that, that'll be another. So I don't mind paying, you know, it's $150 a month, but you have unlimited data on your iPad. You don't have to depend on your phone anymore. I don't have to worry about um, turning the tethering on and, you know, all of that stuff. I could just open it up and I have everything accessed right to me. So that's pretty much it. Like I say, I just got the iPad, so I really don't have any thing on here as far as apps, tweaks, things of that nature. So, all right, guys, let me know what you think of this video. Like I said, sorry about the video quality. I'm recording this on my 5S. Peace.